celebrating community, culture, and commitment. Nos quedamos pay tribute to 11 community heroes and sheroes at Yolanda Garcia Park. Today we're here in Nos Quedamos' annual uh, celebration that they have, um, celebrating the accomplishments that they've done uh, for decades in our communities. Um, and today is going to be a special day where we're going to be doing a street co-naming here on Melrose and 160th Street, uh, co-naming it after Nos Quedamos. You know, Nos Quedamos for decades has played an influential uh, part in the South Bronx and revitalizing the South Bronx, starting with Yolanda Garcia, the founder of Nos Quedamos, who, by the way, this playground is named after. Um, she was one of the founding members. She had a vision on taking what was burned in the South Bronx and re, um, rebuilding it. And when you walk around along Melrose Avenue, you see what her vision is in terms of rebuilding the South Bronx. So today we're going to honor her. We're going to honor Nos Quedamos with a street called Amy. Every year, one of the awards is dedicated to a young rising star whose efforts and practice already demonstrate an ardent commitment to their community and their chosen field and or focus endeavors. This day long celebration is filled with music, dance and poetry like Jesus Papoleto Melendez, also known as Papo, the Puerto Rican poet. I went to junior high school and high school here in the Bronx, and that was during the fire periods when all the buildings were burning, and a lot, of, a lot was going on. So I was um, writing about that at that time, and I decided to take this audience back into the past and talk about what, what um, how things were. I encourage young people, not only if you want to be a poet or a spoken word artist or whatever, Read the poets of the past. Read, don't tell me you don't know who Pedro Pietri was. You know, you don't know who Sandra Maria Tevez is. Don't tell me that and tell me you're a poet because you're not doing your homework. You know, if you were a musician, you'd be studying ancient musicians, whether they're alive or dead. So you got to do the same thing for poetry. Yolanda Garcia Park is named after the founder and first executive director of We Stay Nos Queramos INC's Yolanda Garcia. Garcia's community-based work as a staunch advocate of low-income and affordable housing development, an ardent proponent of community green space, and an iconic community role model. Congressman Torres wanted to remind people the importance of Nos Queramos and what it has done for the Bronx community. I'm honored to be here to celebrate the 30th anniversary of Nos Queramos, which has decades of public service to the Bronx. You know, the theme of today's event is we never left and we flourished. And there's no more powerful example of never leaving the Bronx than Nos Quedamos. It never has left the Bronx, it never will. It's an organization that's not only in the Bronx, but it's of the Bronx. And it's just one organization that I enjoy working with every day. While the rain was starting to come down, it didn't stop the revealing of the Nos Quedamos street sign. And one person who was excited to talk about it was President and CEO of Nos Queramos, Jessica Clemente. Today's event is a long time coming. It means um, it's, it's a priceless moment that I can't even begin to share how important it is for our organization, how important it is for the legacy of Yolanda and Nos Queramos, for my own personal commitment and, and, and trials and tribulations to get here. For the community, it just kind of re-personifies how important it is for us to stand together. That community power is what builds change and makes change sustainable. And that if we don't do it together, it's not gonna work. So it's to re-emphasize that we stay, we build, and we transform. To learn more about the Nos Queramos organization, you can visit their website at www.nosqueramos.org. Reporting for BronxNet, Chanel Thompson.